So how cool is this? Imagine if I just faint because I'm so hot into the river. <laughs> Go to the water. It's so cool though. I'm telling him to her boo, yeah. <laughs> it's Jamie, it's okay. Jamie and Sophie, her boo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm happy to do that. Fine, let's do it. <laughs> okay. That on tape. Good. Oh my lord. <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Sophie, Sophie. So no, it's like Sophie, Sophie. Hey, we're back. We're back, bitches. We are back. We baby. are. No, stop it, feels weird. <laughs> Guys, Jamie, we went on a wedding trip. I'm just going to start it off like this. We get back from a dinner, lovely dinner, gorgeous dinner. He's touching my leg. We're really in love. We're chatting away. We get in the door and he goes, packing your bag, can't deal with this. I was like, sorry? <laughs> yeah turning it on you, telling your secrets this time. Yeah, what did you do? Packed your bag. Uh, I literally was like, sorry, what have I done? He went, no one should be able to deal with your behavior. I was like, sorry, what have I done? Yeah. What do you have to say for yourself? And I looked at Sophie and went, you're a bully. Yeah. You're a bully. And, and he goes, Melissa thinks you are too, my best friend. I went, what? <laughs> And then he went to me, well, oh, Melissa is dead to me. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa, if you're listening, if you've ever called me a bully, you're dead to me. <laughs> well, Melissa's dead to me and so are you. Don't know what I'm saying. Shall we begin the episode? Yeah, let's go. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Nilly Wed's podcast. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Nilly Wed's podcast. I'm Sophia Boo and this is Jamie Lang. We took a week off, didn't we? We did take a week off. Uh, we took should, we, a... should we talk about that? We... Yeah, well, you go and talk about it. You guys know that I was cleaning a bit too much and we got a bit worried about it. Worried to the point where Jamie actually thought, and my parents thought I needed to take a week off to stop my cleaning habits. She, was, she honestly would clean. And now if I ever clean anything, even like if I tidy away something, I'm worried Jamie's thinking, it's coming back. So I'm like, I'm just, I'm just cleaning up the kitchen. Don't worry, it's not back. So many weird things. So he was cleaning everything. I think someone's listened to the podcast and thought about cleaning because you were like cleaning up all the different stuff and cleaning up like the eggs. Someone now, we don't know who it is, has sent us two boxes of 30 eggs. 30 dozen <laughs> eggs. We, 30 how many? Dozen. How, 30 dozen. So that's 30 times 12. Two boxes of that. And it said caged hens. Hello. <laughs> so, I'm not eating any caged hen <laughs> eggs. Yes. Uh, Jack, the box is literally bigger than me. There's two of them in my house. I want to send us nearly a thousand eggs. I think they've put like chicken flu in it because they want to kill us. I said to Jamie, they're trying. Someone's, someone's like injected them. Like, oh, who are they from? I had one of them today. No, you did not. I have organic eggs. Oh, those ones I had. Not that I haven't opened those ones. They're full of poison. <laughs> someone... I know someone's been injecting them for like sinusite. And your mum stayed with us the week before. Yeah. Uh, because we had to call in the reinforcements to help out. <laughs> also, the best thing about your mum I've ever seen. <laughs> what? <laughs> she, she found lube. Oh my God. <laughs> well, she, no, no. She found okay. lube. So I have CBD oil lube sent from Olivia Bentley. She has a company called Jomo. It's incredibly good lube, I must say. And I go into my mum's room and the whole lube, first thing, thanks mum for just rack, rinsing all my products. The whole tub of lube was on the side of her bed and it was empty. And I was like, whoa, mum, I mean, what have you been doing? Bearing in mind the night before we'd seen, she'd seen my dildo. And she was like, don't worry, I've got one too. And I was like... That is an image I did not. And then I walk in the next day and see a whole, sorry, she's probably going to kill me for that. See a whole tub of empty lube. And she, I was like, what if, what, what? And she was like, it's really dry on my legs. It doesn't work very well. She'd been using the whole thing as moisturizer. <laughs> Terrible. I just think it's so good. It really dried up. And she, got, she was like, why are my legs so itchy? <laughs> she was like, she likes <laughs> a lot of things happened that week my mum was there she came and met my mum Penny yeah. who's been on the podcast and we had such a great time 
And Sophie and I explained to my mum that we were having this sort of tricky time about the wedding and Sophie was just feeling very anxious about things and overwhelmed. And my mum just went, cancel it. <laughs> we went, what? And she went, just cancel my it. My mum's like, ooh, my money I've put into it. Maybe not. <laughs> and Sophie went, we've paid like quite a lot of deposits. Cancel it. And then as we were walking out, I saw my mum whisper to you, Sophie, just cancel it. <laughs> she just mouthed it to you. I know, it- but she actually did make me feel very calm. She was like, you don't have to do anything you don't want. But don't be feared, ladies and gentlemen. I'm back. You're as, f- not a bridezilla, a bride angel. Do you know what's been happening, which is so funny as well? I've been, I've been sending Sophie nudes wherever you've been going. <laughs> it's honestly hideous. I've been sending, it's hideous. It's not hideous. It's I've been, hideous. I've been sending you nudes in the airport. I always, I always think that you're doing that sort of cute thing when, which you used to do. Like you used to sit next to me and be like, "I love you," or "Oh my god, when we first started dating, you, <laughs> you messaged me when you were also yeah. dating someone else at the table, and you messaged me being like, you look so pretty,' and I was like." <laughs> Oh my God. Or you, no, maybe you were like, you look so cute. Or oh. Oh, hot. That's the oh. sort of word you. Jamie calls girls cute. Oh my God. Stop. She's quite cute, isn't okay. she? I'm like, oh. Well, I'm telling you what happened. I've been sending you nudes the whole time because yeah, I thought it was really funny. Ginger penis. <laughs> not a big ginger penis. It's just a, it's a big penis, but it's not ginger. And I sent you a nude in any way. It was on my phone and I went to pay for something and clicked it. And the first thing that flashed up was my penis. And people saw it. You text me and I'm having a facial and (laughs) right above it is your big fat penis. And I was like, oh my God, I want to die. This woman. She leaned over and went, lucky girl. Oh God. It's also flaccid in the photo. Hi, Anne. Mm, Sorry. By the way, do you want to explain why you're sending the penis? Because you're not like a creep who just sends me penis and we do not send news to each other. No. Yeah, I've I've realised that. It's obviously Jamie doing one of those stupid TikToks that he loves to do. You've also already done this one to me. All right, pack your bags. Sorry. Let's go packing. <laughs> and we went to this amazing place in Austria. I arrived out there and you do these tests, you pee into a pot, you have to poo into it like a... Like a, a no, you thing. had to poo. I had to, I had to, I had to poo into, uh, it's a stool sample. And Sophie, oh, oh. Sophie walked into the bathroom as I was doing the no, st- st- no. stool sample into the thing. Which, it was probably the worst image I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> which was really bad. And then they checked my gut and they checked everything. And the doctor said, oh, just put your tongue out. So I put my tongue and they went, oh, not good. You have a bad gut. There and, you go, guys. When he calls me smelly breath. We were put on this diet where we just had broth. No, no, I wasn't. I So there was five diets. It's just quite interesting for people to... You would think, you know, we'd be all right. We're quite fit and whatever. Mm. I come out, I'm like, oh my God, I'm put on this three, the third diet and I got given bread, soup, avocado and a bit of meat. I mean, it sounds quite nice, but I was starving. I clearly have a big appetite. And when I was hangry, boy, was I hangry. <laughs> Jamie was like, oh, that sounds quite nice because he doesn't listen to whatever the doctor says. So he had no idea what the doctor told him his diet was. He sits down, he gets broth every day. Every day. I had just broth. You dealt with it very well. I was on 600 calories a day. And honestly, I sat next to Sophie and I went, oh, I'm so hungry. And she went, your breath smells like vomit. <laughs> <laughs> no shit. <laughs> Sorry if we're... No, but but there's a reason to it. Why we we're it's going not, down the doctor? It was it was not. a really fascinating you meet. Were, like I said, does my breath really smell that bad? You went honestly, it smells like shit. Can I explain why <laughs> he has a candida overgrowth in his gut, guys? So you what know, what does that mean? Can you explain what that means? I have no fucking idea. <laughs> bad bacteria. Me, on the other hand, great bacteria, great gut, nothing wrong with me. Boom, bang, bosh. Got a dessert at the end. Everyone in the clinic was like, <gasps> traitor. As I was like eating my apple strudel, like, ha, 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 ha. We went into the cryo chamber, which is one of these things where you stand and you get really cold. It goes to minus 10. Your whole body's in there. I've never seen someone panic more where it came to the end of the three minutes and Sophie was trying to find her way out of it. It was like in the crystal maze. It was like when the door shut. She was like, oh my God, I can't yeah, get out yeah. of it. Yeah, yeah, that was not fun. It was very funny. But then, but then, 
then, speaking of which, we had booked the whole week. We had <laughs> done this whole thing for the whole week. We're going to rest. We're going to relax. Bearing we're gonna... mind, it was me who dragged Jamie there. So if you wanted to do it, we wanted to relax. On the lake in Austria, it's so beautiful. We paid for this whole week. On Friday, Sophie got up in the morning and went, we need to book our flights, we need to get out of here. And I was like, are you serious? We had to book our flights and leave because Sophie was too hungry. You were too hungry. I was starving. They were like, this is the top diet. We can't feed you anymore. I was like, "Your my tummy is caving in as Jamie's sipping a broth going, I feel fine. I was like, what the fuck is wrong with you people? Sophie. No one was bothered. Sophie. They were like, this broth and tea is delicious. I was like getting a full meal with a lamb shank. And I was like, I'm still so hungry. I'm going to punch somebody. Sophie. Sophie was so hungry. She was Googling the nearest supermarket, which was two miles away. She went, she whispered to me one night, it's called Bill. She went, Shall we walk to Bill? <laughs> it was at seven in the I had a chewing gum in my bag and I was like, This, I'm going to save it. Half a little bit of chewing gum every day. We had, we had some rescue remedy, little pastel pills, and she was like, oh, I'm going to eat those because you were so hungry. Yeah, I know. It was quite bad. My arm oh. almost blew up at one point. <laughs> The God. massages, how naked did they make you? The men, ooh, sl- turn around, stark naked, rubbing my boobies. I was like, <laughs> what is going Wait, on? Explain that again, what happened? They just go, you know, normally when you get a massage, they yeah. leave the room when you get naked and then they put a towel over you. Yeah. No, no, not in this place. Because it was very clinical. Uh-huh. So they just have a sheet and I was like, well, wh- what do I put over me? Nothing. He doesn't leave the room. So he just didn't put a sheet over you? No, every, he surely didn't for you either. Yeah, I had a sheet on me and everything. He flipped me over and was <laughs> giving my boobs a good old massage. I was like, I guess this is normal in Austria. He didn't touch your penis as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. It's really not funny. That really, really tickled me. <laughs> Which is the, also, it was it was just amazing. This clinic, it was simply incredible. I want to really shout out to it. The, the the best part was is that when I went up to the sauna, and I went up to the sauna to have a lovely sauna by myself, and I was like, oh, and there were lots of people in there. Like, was, <laughs> and the sauna was really dark, and I was like, I can't really see if anyone's in there. And you know, if it's sauna, you've seen it has a glass door. Yeah, we know what a sauna okay. is—a dark sauna. It's not bright light. And I went it? right up to it to look into it. So I put my hands <laughs> over my eyes to look into the sauna, and it was just full of naked women. <laughs> and I had I had come at ladies' hour. <laughs> And I looked like some birth. who had just gone to the Did you? You definitely class. went in it, didn't you? No, I didn't. Oh, I was some birth who'd gone to the window to look in the He also people. never puts trunks on. He just goes in the in the sauna and has calving clients with yeah. women there. And I'm like, illegal. Put some swimming trunks on. But it was a great week. And we felt very revived we feel refreshed and we want to say a big thank you to you guys for hopefully enjoying the last episode i want to give a shout out to producer jack who made an amazing episode all about love yeah it made me cry i listened to it, it was amazing yeah. it was so lovely and so wonderful and thank you for all of your messages you sent we really really appreciated them but we're back baby the wedding is on we're feeling good and if anyone is feeling stressed about it don't worry we felt the same i think that's a perfect time so for listeners messages Loads and loads of listeners' messages this week, Soph. So many. You know, um, the last episode, I spoke about my nipple syndrome, where I, if I rub my left nipple, I feel sad, and that song comes to my head. Nobody likes me, everybody hates me, I'd rather go and eat worms. I've never even heard that song. Well, it's a song that everyone knew. Social media went wild for it, by the way. And we had a message from Anna, uh, who said, Hey, guys. I'm just listening to the last episode where Jamie talking about his left nipple and feeling sad. I sometimes get this too. And it's actually a biological thing called sad nipple syndrome. When you touch your nipple, it evokes negative emotions, homesickness, grossness feeling. But there is no explanation for it. Anyways, love you guys. Hope you're feeling less stressed now. I must touch my nipple right now. Feel it. Touch your nipple. Go underneath the the bra. Just go underneath the bra. No, I'm not going to do it on the podcast. Oh, okay. I also don't really want to feel sad. If I touch it now... No, you're lying. I swear to God. But I, why are you even massaging your nipple in the bath? It's so odd. I, I don't do it in the bath. I normally do it while looking out of the window. What? <laughs> yeah. And it makes me feel sad. I can feel sad now. Since when? Since I was a kid. Why have you never told me that? I have told you that before. You don't care. That's why when you try and touch my nipples, I don't like it. Oh my God, guys. If you think I try and touch his nipples. <laughs> yeah. Well, 
Uh, so thank you, Anna, for writing it. Anyone else who has sad nipple syndrome, um, I hear you. I hear you. What the hell? That's the weirdest thing I've ever heard. What about milking nipples? Is, did anyone write anything? Yeah, people that? can. You can milk. I, I lactate oh. my nipples. I want to make a bet with you that it, like, it, it, if you. If can you, you feed the babies then, Dill? Oh, no, I can't feed the babies from my nipple. Well, if you lactate from your nipple, you can get up at 3 a.m. I cannot breastfeed. Okay, I'll it takes you, a long time. I'll tell you what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to love the dog and look after the dog, but you have to lick my nipple. When it lactates. Oh my god, you are so disgusting. Okay. It frightens me. All right. We um we have a poo story. Oh, surprise, surprise. We have a poo story. Uh we're back on the poo scenario. So thank you for your listeners' message with the poo story. It's from Soph um on Instagram. Is this you, Soph? Could be. Here it is. Okay. So I have the most embarrassing poo story ever. I'm in my first year of university and we've been going out the night before. Lots of drinking. We had two showers in our halls and I decided to use the one on the third floor of the house. I'm in the shower now and realise that I'm pooing. <laughs> what? <laughs> that came out of nowhere. It's already happening and there's no time to run to the toilet because it was in a separate room. So I'm in the shower and going for a post-night out poo, I'm starting to freak out. I used a cup to wash the shampoo out of my hair because the pressure was so rubbish. I poo into the cup. No, no. Turn off the water and have a think. I see three exits. The door, the plug hole, and the tiny window. No, no. I just don't understand how you can poo without realising. The door. I see three exits. The door, the plug hole, and the tiny window. There's no way I was putting my dressing gown on and walking out with a cup of poo in front of my uni flatmates I met just one month earlier. <laughs> I tried so desperately to push the poo no. down the plug hole, but there was no joy at all. Climb up to the tiny window at the top of the shower and throw my poo out of it. The window is suicide locked, and so I had to squeeze my handful of poo out, no, no. out the top of the window and throw it. I can't. Imagine if you saw that little hand coming out. She also did. It she lands so by our front door. <gasps> the next day, I walk with my course, course mate to lecture, and he notices the poo. I just said, That must have been a massive <laughs> dog. I'd never seen a dog on the uni campus. I just panicked. <laughs> One drunken night, the story came out somehow, and I have never lived it down. I'm now in my fourth year. Oh. That <sighs> is. I'm very concerned <sighs> about how she pooed without knowing. I honestly, Sophie, That's once... That's like a very relaxed bum hole. I had to wake up early once and I had to wake up early at school and I was so tired to do these, what they called like, I had to go and clear up the school because I got in trouble. And I went into the shower and I was so tired and I started retching <clears throat> and I pooed myself in the shower and I had to stamp it down with my feet. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Not as bad as when you chopped up your poo in New York. Yeah. That was like one of the first stories you told me. I was like, perfect. Oh, so okay. do you have any of you listeners' messages? Oh, I do have it. Oh, I've actually got a voice note. Okay, guys, we've got a voice note. You know how we love a voice note. This is from Claire McClelland. That's it. We got it from Claire, Claire McClelland. I'm going to call her Claire Hannah. You know, that's her second name. Okay. Although this isn't a wedding related, I have an incredible story my friend just told me about her ex and it needs sharing. So my friend broke up with her boyfriend about six months ago, but for context, they were they were together for seven years. So a long relationship and they broke up quite amicably. Um, however, so she went on to Amazon, but you know, sometimes on Amazon when it says, oh, buy this again, or you might like, and on the you might like or buy this again it came up with a load of butt plugs and <laughs> anal beads and like specific anal lube and she's thinking to herself gosh i've i've never bought any of this on amazon before this is so <laughs> weird why am i getting recommended all of this to me so she went onto her um order section and she realized that she was still logged in to her ex's amazon account she realised oh. that he was obviously buying all of this anal lube, dick rings, butt plugs, <gasps> um, etc. for whoever he was seeing at the time, like now. <laughs> she was like, oh, that really hurts. But after a week or so, she got over it, found it really funny. And she was talking to um, one of the girls and she was like, we should 
get him something and just send it to his house on his Amazon account. And they're like, oh, yeah, what should we get him? Let's get him a, um, a strap on. They were like, no, 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 let's go weirder than that. Let's go really weird. I know. I'm going to send him one kilo of live mealworm. <laughs> Oh. What, what better revenge is sending your ex a kilo of live mealworms to his house? <laughs> that is that brilliant. Is so genius. That is absolutely brilliant. Oh, oh I God. love that. Speaking of uh, uh, voice notes, we have a very cute and funny naked love story, which is a, a voice note from Natalie. Do you want to hear it? Yes, I love a voice note. Hey guys, I thought I'd tell you about my love story with my now fiance six years ago I moved towns and I thought I need to get to know the area so I went for a little walk I ended up on the beach and then there was a cliff top there with stairs and I walked up and I walked along these gorgeous fields and um, stumbled across this one field full of yellow flowers which I think is called oilseed rape flowers um, and they're about six foot high they're beautiful and I thought Do you know what this is an Instagram if I've ever seen one. So I balanced my phone on a branch of a tree. I took my clothes off and I ran through the field naked. <laughs> I took the photo and I posted it on Instagram. I tagged the location. And then I get a message from a farmer saying, hey, you're trespassing. <laughs> and yeah, you could say the rest is history. Oh my god, that's hilarious! Also oh. ballsy. Dude. Have you ever it's... run naked through anywhere? No, never. You you've never done that? No. When I was at Leeds University, um, it was Leeds Met versus Leeds Uni, and I streaked onto Were you the. Met? No, I was Leeds Uni. Oh. I streaked onto the pitch completely naked, and when I shook my the captain's hand, and then got handcuffed. That off. doesn't surprise me at all. You love getting naked. Well, I just loved it. Uh, we have another um, listener's message, don't we, Soph? Okay, so I've got one from Jessica Poxham. Hey, Jamie and Sophie. I'm so sorry I'm late to the show with your podcast. I'm just listening to Ep29 now while, sort while sorting my attic and came across something I had to tell you about. <laughs> Me and my husband have been together since secondary school. While my husband was still living at home, we kept our condoms in his Jurassic Park v VSH case so his dad wouldn't accidentally come across them. His brother has somehow found out and used to take delight in asking, are you guys going to watch Jurassic Park tonight? And giggling in front of his dad, which greatly embarrassed us, but thankfully went over his dad's head. Still now, at the age of 31, he has mine and my husband's personalised ringtones as the Jurassic Park tune. Oh my Cue God. Hugh Jamie. At our wedding four years ago, we put together a pl playlist of songs that the guests would come in and find their seats to. We had to sneak the Jurassic Park theme in. It was a funny inside joke for me and my husband and his siblings. But just now, while sorting the attic, I came across the VHS box with some very out of date condoms and just had to tell you love the podcast. I um, love that. Da -da 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 also, having a VHS box is quite high end. So. I just love all this. This is the stuff that I love. So, if we go to that moment in the podcast where we do our propose the pod, 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 propose the pod. Hey, we asked people to send us some jingles, and lo and behold, we've had so many jingles sent in from so many listeners. Shut up! It's amazing. So we are going to play jingles throughout the next few weeks, months. And this week is from Paige. Do you want to hear the jingle for Pros of the Pod? Yeah, I bloody well do. Here it is. I'm going to propose the pod. 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 Pod, 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 pod. So she's got a lovely little voice. Propose the pod. Propose the pod. Propose the pod. Propose the pod. So do you want to propose the pod today, Soph? I. This is from Louise Bonnard. Mm -hmm. Bonnard Lou. Mm -hmm. I have. I have my propose the pod. I work in a ski chalet cleaning in France, and I was cleaning the loo when I saw a skid mark that I had to clean. I feel you. At the same time, I was attacking it. <laughs> Jamie was reading out in depth the detailed dilemma about the guy who shat the bed and his girlfriend was lying in it in the morning. 
<laughs> oh my god started actually gagging whilst cleaning this toilet and the other chalet girls came in to see what was going on and i explained your part <laughs> retching while listening to that is the best thing ever oh my god i love that propose the pod i love that that is amazing and it's very apt because all we do is talk about poop on this podcast hey i want to give a shout out to everyone who keeps sending in the propose the pod jingles to all of the listeners messages please keep sending them in we got poo stories anything is at all you can send them in to con- i love the voice notes personally <laughs> you love the voice notes send it into contact at nillywedspodcast.com or you can go onto our instagram at nillywedspodcast that's the end of listeners messages mm, that's right Sophie. that's the end of propose the pod no, that's the end of listeners messages that's the end of listeners messages so guys, back to the wedding chat. So, 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 so. Oh, lammy, lammy, lammy. So it's very exciting. We have so much for you guys to catch up on. We flew out to the wedding venue mm-hmm. in Spain with your dad. Uh, producer Jamie and producer Jack, they came out with us. Mm-hmm. We had a complete disaster. I mean. Jamie got on the flight with us. And we had the whole camera equipment. We had all the mics. We had everything to go with it. New ones. New ones. Brand new ones we just bought. Producer Jack was already out there doing his ADHD test. Hey, hey, top marks. Eight out of eight. (laughs) Yeah, there he is. I'm now going to do it as well, guys. Okay, Soph's going to do it as well. Congratulations to Jack. Um, (laughs) And Jamie, we were out there. Jamie was very careful with new equipment. said fragile on the bag. We flew from Stansted. It was fantastic. Uh, We got, we arrived. Well, it wasn't that fantastic flying from Stansted, I must say. It's (laughs) 6am it wasn't that great Jamie had to stay in the Premier Inn in Stansted I had to book in the morning and I bought one outfit and had to wear it for three days <laughs> that's because you were hammered the night before oh sorry I went to the Mayor Clinic and got fed avocado for a week no wonder one glass of champagne may be lit <laughs> she had one glass of champagne and had a bath for, had a bath for three hours no because Jamie screamed at me so then I was like I locked myself in the bathroom <laughs> and all she kept doing is getting out of the bath and looking at me naked and going woo slapping her bum woo and I just looked at her and went, go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> we slept in different rooms that night. We wore the same outfit the entire week because we didn't bring any clothes. We did. We, we, we slept in different beds that night. Anyway, the point is, Jamie came out, he bought the equipment. We arrived in Spain, in Malaga, to go to Soto Grande, and the suitcase didn't arrive. They never put it on the flight the from Stansted. The only suitcase <laughs> on the whole flight was Jamie's. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We still had a camera. We had two mics. So we recorded lots of bits. And instead of talking about what happened, we thought it'd be a nice thing to give you the in moment. So this is us walking around the venue. This is us walking around our second day venue, the pool party, meeting different people with the wedding planner, the lovely Lucia. Shout out to you, Lucia. We also had, so we had Sophie's dad there, Patrick. We had Lucia, our wedding planner. We had Alex LaRue, our music planner, and my best man man or best woman Georgie's brother one of my great friends he was with us yep he's also been on the podcast so you guys will remember him and listen this isn't the end of it because next week we have food tasting and so much more but listen here we go sit back and listen to everything that happened while we were away in Spain Okay, so, so what's just happened? We've just, uh, well, I don't know, a lot. My eyes are red because <laughs> I wake up so early. We got to the airport. Yeah. It was a shit show. We it waited was. It was so long. Yeah. It was an hour and a half delayed. Mm-hmm. The flight. The flight was an hour and a half delayed. We landed. Yeah. I did sleep the whole way. You slept the whole way, which is good. You kept trying to wake me up. I don't know why. I did not. I yeah, didn't... you did. You kept being like, so if you wake up, I was like, let me sleep. I, I never once moved you. And then we've landed and every single person's bag has come through, apart from Jamie, our cameraman. A videographer. Videographer. Um, and the good and thing... And that has all of the equipment, all of the podcast stuff, all the cameras. It has all the podcast stuff, has all the, the cameras in it, has all the mics in it, and it hasn't turned up. It's, it's still, still in Stansted. It's still in Stansted. And Jamie leaves tomorrow because he was here for one day to record the podcast with us. 
and now we have nothing. We have one camera. And but we haven't had lunch because we were delayed. Just, so now hungry Sophie will appear. Yeah. Because I don't think we're going to get lunch until about 5 p.m. We have Alex Nauru in the car. Here he is. Hello. There he is, Alex. Um, been on the podcast before. He's here to look at uh, the venue and talk about music with us. And it's late in the day. You might not even better do that. So Alex, you're just here for the ride. Oh wait. <laughs> we're all just going to have a really nice time. <laughs> We just came to 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 Marbella for a day to have some sun and eat some food and then fly back. Oh, we're not even (laughs) going to eat food. Not even going to eat food. (laughs) So it's been good. She's just been cruising around Spain, having the best few days. Didn't punch you? Okay. Well, what so, did you write? Oh, I walked into a lamppost. Oh, no. I had to have stitches. Yeah, it was really bad. Wait, let me carry that for you. Should I carry that? No, no, that's okay. this Are you sure? Yeah, I think we close it off. But Alex, what do you think? And just have drinks and fans given to them, rather than having everyone stopping here. You want everyone sort of just moving. Exactly. So drinks meaning like uh, a glass of champagne. Okay, before the ceremony. Yeah, one yeah. surely. Or waters. <laughs> yeah. Surely a nice I drink. Don't know, I have no clue. I don't know what happened. Yeah, I, if I came to a wedding, I'd like to have a drink before the ceremony. Yeah. Okay. Is that not normal? A lot of people don't want to do that because they want everybody to be very sober. Exactly. For but just action. one drink. No, listen, I love one. Not me having to walk up all these stairs in my wedding dress. I'm going to be like. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many sets. Maybe three? How about. I'm so excited. I'm excited. Mm-hmm. It's amazing. Unbelievable. Are you a bit bigger than they mm, Not yet, but I'm really very excited. Mm-hmm. So cool. So we're getting married. It's unbelievable. Super big, but the thing is that they have like. Can you describe how you're doing in the word? Groomsmen and bridesmaids. Mm. So that's it's why pretty content. Yeah. Feel pretty content. Amazing. Feels great. Guests are all down here, sitting in this section now, and the stairs. Sophie can come up the left or the right hand side of these two sort of altar stairs, I suppose. I'm standing at the top, where there's a table that looks over the crowd, over every, our guests here, and Sophie and I meet at the top there on a sort of stage bit. And it's the terracotta, terracotta style. Is that what it is, terracotta? There's loads of plants. There's loads of naked people everywhere. This is a bit intimidating, this naked guy. Look at that, drinking a naked person. Loads of naked people everywhere. <laughs> so how cool is this? I don't know if I just faint because I'm so hot into the river. <laughs> Go to the water. It's so cool though. It's rustic, it's cool, it's different, there's trees, are, it's sheltered a little bit, not really. Mm-hmm. But... What are we thinking as people come in? Do you have it? Do they... you want me to, want me to play you a few? Let's play yeah. a few things. This is where Alex is going to play some music. <laughs> so everybody waits, everybody turns, and at some point Processional starts. Oh my god. And then Sophie just never arrives. <laughs> <laughs> and Patrick runs up. I don't know where she is. Do you like and you like this? Song? I like that. I'm signed sealed to do it's it. Quite sort of, it's the classic, um, but it's. Do you like it, that? Well, yeah, it's making okay. me feel a little bit emotional, okay. actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Patrick. Everybody quite likes this as one of the songs that can't help falling in love with you. The Elvis was in Crazy Rich Asians. Very emotional. You should come up eating that as well. (laughs) (laughs) No? No, no. No, no. (laughs) Yeah, I like it. Yeah, it's a bit more not as traditional, I suppose. The other one's because of it. This is lovely. Oh my god, I would cry less than if someone came. You could have the singer from the band sing this to you with someone on guitar. (laughs) (laughs) Done? No, I don't. That's one thing. And not River Flows in You. What? (laughs) The one that I played you. 
What was that? Would it, do you have river flows in no. you? No. Okay, okay, obviously not that one. Okay, forget that. <laughs> <laughs> forget it, guys. Oh my god, so look how cool it's going to be. Everyone here. Say, say. Woo! Isn't that cool? Yeah. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Okay, yeah. Then long tables here, water fountain, and the stage exactly. there. Yeah, and then we walk out these doors. A dog, a dog is going to take me down. Woo! Oh my god. And can you imagine they're coming out now? Everyone ready? Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time, Jamie and Sophie! And then you come in. You go between the tables. Maybe this song. God, I'm so easy. I'm like, no, wait, can you pick some other ones for us? Yeah. <laughs> what are this one? Oh, I know, I know, that's I know. Good, that's good. I thought we'd agreed that. What? what? I've got, there are no males in my family. I so it's, I'm telling you to her boo, yeah. <laughs> it's Jamie, <laughs> Jamie and Sophie, her boo. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone will be like, oh. I think I'm up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm happy to do that. Fine, let's do it. <laughs> okay, we all heard it here. Yeah, yep, that's it. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Imagine they do a whole dance coming down. <laughs> okay. Imagine well, you can't go. There's one more. I mean, what's always quite good is flick with Mac everywhere. You know this one? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom, boom. You know this one. Oh, you know the beginning. Get ready for it. No, I prefer September. Okay. okay. Easy. At least we know what we like, what we don't like. Yeah, I like the old che cheesy classics, to be honest. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what I want. Run, no. Run. Okay. Spice Girls. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, not that. <laughs> Entrance of you guys. Do you want anything going off like in pyros or anything? Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, for the first dance, for sure. For the first dance. Get a yeah. Catherine wheel. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's Sophie, yeah, exactly. That is Sophie. Yeah. yeah. Like, Here comes Sophie, the oh, Catherine wheel. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Oh, my lord. <laughs> what? It's Glastonbury. <laughs> okay, that's amazing. This is very exciting. Okay, guys, I'm not going to lie. When did we decide to put the wedding in May? What do you mean? P pretty much after we got engaged. Yeah. We were engaged for a while, honey. We've been engaged for yeah, a sister. year and a bit now. Yes. But guys, as you know, all I wanted was a little beach wedding, about yeah. 30 people, barefoot. Yeah. It's now 205. Yeah, it is. And do you all know how many people have confirmed? 200. <laughs> no one said no. <laughs> <laughs> no one. Fuck. Everyone's like, it's in Spain, guys. 40 people will say no. 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 Not one person has said no. I think even my godparents were all the way from Australia and coming. Um, anyway, but you are excited now. I'm incredibly excited. I've accepted it. I'm so excited. It's all come together. It's also kind of all my vision. So it I'm very is. excited. I'm really, really excited. So Something clicked in my head. So just to any bride who's feeling really super overwhelmed, suddenly something will click and you just see it all and you're like, this is going to be so special. It's time for Wedgie Rather. Now, on Wedgie Rather, we decided that we're going to change it next week because we're going to spice things up, baby. We're spicing things up. What was that? I don't know. I just tried to inject some energy. We're going to spice, spice things, things up. up. You ready for Wedgie Rather? Yep, let's go. Wedgie Rather, one of your bridesmaids, gets mm. arrested <gasps> at the wedding. For doing what? Don't know. Something. Or... One of our exes comes in and tries to stop the whole wedding from oh happening. Oh my God, 100% the ex. You would rather your ex runs in. Yeah, and hilarious. Try... Why would that be hilarious? Well, they all look crazy. And people will be like, what the hell? 
But when has they said, we slept together yesterday? Well, that's not the question. It is. Well, if you slept with your ex yesterday, I'd be like, <laughs> punch you. <laughs> I'd you... get my rose and I'd get the thorn and go <laughs> in your eyeball. <laughs> would you punch me in the head? I would stuff it in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and choke you. Wow, I sound mental. Jamie keeps asking me about this. He's like, because I did get physical once with him. But so, with who? <laughs> with you. Oh, I didn't. And oh, he... Sophie slapped me in the park. Uh, only I slapped. Like, oh, <laughs> he, he did it. Yeah, he did it only slightly. It was only a little tap. It was just a little tap. It was just a little tap. It was tap. a hand reflex. But guys, if you had the context of why I was doing it, you would be like, so far enough. <laughs> she did a little tap and then she was so shocked because that she I done couldn't it. shout because we were in a park. So I just went, oh, and it just hit his face because he's so short. He's the same size as me. I meant to sort of hit his body and it went across his face. And I was like, <gasps> and we both just, we departed in the park. He went one way, I went the other. And I was like, what have I just done? And then Jamie went, that's abusive. You're, I'm in an abusive place. Like saying, you punched me. You were yeah, like, no, he, I didn't. He was like, you f you gave a solid fist and punched me. <laughs> I didn't. Like my tiny little fingers, so dainty and small. I mean, it was so, wait, hang on. It was just a little tap on the cheek. So you would rather your ex comes and stops the wedding? Yeah, that would be hilarious. I would rather one of your bridesmaids gets arrested 100%. I, I wouldn't mind your ex stopping the wedding as well. <laughs> Because I would just be like, this is quite dramatic and funny. If your ex tried to stop... I wouldn't want my bridesmaid getting arrested because I want them there with me. Okay. And also just like, what are they doing? What are they picturing doing? them like, uh, no. What are they doing? I, I don't know, like having sex like on the street or something. Not that any of my bridesmaids would ever, ever, ever do that. I mean, what could they do? I don't know, honey. It's Stealing something. That would just be so <laughs> bum out. Everyone would be like, why are your bridesmaids so weird? <laughs> It's now like become a real thing. Like, yeah, what's well, that's part of the game. Really thinking about it. We also have our wedding favour. Now, as always, we have our little case that we keep, that we put all of our wedding favours in there. We're going to pick them out for our wedding. So please keep sending in all of your wedding favours. And this week's wedding favour is from Emily, who says, Hi, Sophie and Jamie. Having got married in April last year brings back all the memories of organising our wedding. I listened to this week's episode, and Sophie, you mentioned preserving your flowers. I also want to do the same. However, wasn't sure on having them in a frame. So I went to a friend from college, Hayley Brown Designs on Instagram, who made these. We get a set of coasters for our parents, us, and I got my bridesmaids one each with their initial. And I also got my husband a key ring with two of our favorite photos. It felt like such a lovely way to keep my flowers forever, but also share them with those involved. Lots of love. Emily. So they make coasters and things with the flowers that's, in them. That's clever. That is so cool. Key because rings and everything. A photo frame of flowers is a bit grannyish, isn't it? It's from Hayley Oh my Brand God, they're beautiful. I love that. And we love a coaster in this house. Oh my God, I love Sign, that. Sign, seal, delivered. Sign, seal, delivered. That, that's a must for us. Hayley Brown Designs, shout you out, sister. Or shout us out, because we'd love that to be done. Give a little clap, honey. Clap, 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 be clap. Hey, uh, that's the end of the episode, honey. Guys, love you. Listen, next week we're going to do food... Oh, wow. You're in for a treat with that Oh, one. my God. Boy, oh, boy. It was a real go... curve, wasn't it? Did we go in? And it, first day, not so good. Second day might have been even better. So it, there's a real drama yeah. going on, all recorded. Can't wait for you to listen to that. Just want to say a big thank you for listening to the podcast and so many nice messages about our week off. So we really appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, I love you guys. And listen, if you're getting engaged... Good luck. If you're getting married... Good luck. If you're thinking about getting engaged... Go do it. And if you're just in love... You're you the, rock. You rock. See you next Monday for another episode. Bye, guys. Bye. Hey. Woo. Good work, team. <laughs>